Rise and Shine East Texas. You're watching KETK Today. And welcome back, and everyone. Here is a look at Tyler with our Skyview camera brought to you by Cables Roofing. We are off to a quiet start right now, temperature of 67 degrees, and Tyler with a dew point of 61. So it is a comfortable start overall, a little bit more humid and warmer than what we saw yesterday. Temperatures around the Arklatex look like this low to mid 60s for the most part. In this East Texas area, some of the coolest air uh, in the state of Texas right now, although we do have some upper six, 60s as well in Dallas Fort Worth and in College Station. But over by Interstate 35, especially the closer you get to uh, the Hill Country there, 74 in Austin, 76 in San Antonio, 78 in Houston, though, that is the warmest spot around the region. High temperatures this afternoon will be climbing into the upper 80s to lower 90s. I do think we'll see a few more lower 90s on the board today than what we saw yesterday. Winds today out of the southeast at around 10 miles per hour, so we will have a nice breeze going for us today. But it's going to be a little bit warmer out there and a touch bit more humid. Not by a whole lot, but maybe slightly noticeable out there. It will become more noticeable, though, as we head into the weekend. You don't see that here with the temperatures overall, but even that is going to be showing signs of some warming. We're into the mid-90s for the high temperatures on Monday. That will continue into the next work week as well. With a normal high of 89 degrees, we are going to be climbing well above that heading into next week. And when you factor in the humidity, especially Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, we could see the heat index climb into the lower triple digits out there. So some are not giving up just quite yet. As we head into Wednesday and Thursday, though, we'll start to see the humidity drop a little bit as a weak front moves on in, but it's not going to make a huge impact in terms of our temperatures as upper level high pressure will stay dominant over our area. We are also mainly dry over the next seven days and that is not necessarily good news for us because the drought uh, still continues for our westernmost areas, even though it hasn't changed all that much from last week. Next week's drought monitor, on the other hand, is probably going to show a worsening drought across the area. Taking a look at your seven-day forecast, we're going to see plenty of sunshine to go around heading into the next seven days with those high temperatures slowly climbing as well. 95 for the high on Tuesday, 96 on Wednesday and Thursday, but will start to grow less humid heading into the end of next week. For Deep East Texas, can't rule out a pop-up shower for Friday and Saturday. And then into next week, we're going to see those high temperatures warm back to the middle 90s by the day on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then into the upper 90s by the day on Thursday. So uh, even though fall begins within the next few days here, uh, summer is not going to be giving up just yet. Again, Thursday in Deep East Texas, we could climb as high as 97 degrees. Well, I'm definitely enjoying the sunshine, but we still <laughs> do need the rain. Yeah, we're, we're good for the football games this evening, which is good, but we definitely still need the rain with the drought situation.